Hello, good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you today? <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Hola. Hello. Thank you for joining this class. How are you? You can write in the chat. Mm, hola. <laughs> Hello, Santi. How are you? Bien. <laughs> in English, in English. Okay, remember. Cool. Walter, hello. Okay, welcome. Welcome, guys. It's a pleasure to have you here once again. Good morning, Deborah. Nice. All right, guys, please, I need you to open your books, your EFL books. We need to finish the unit number eight. Remember. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Good morning, Oscar. Thank you for joining. All right, we're going to start. So to begin this class, I would like to, to share with you my screen. In this case is the today's presentation. Basically, we're going to be working on pages 80, 81, 82, and 83. Okay, so we need, we have time and we need to reach those pages. Cool. Remember, we are the difference with Jesus. Let's get started. All right. So to begin this, I need you, I need you to listen to the track. Okay, I'm going to play the track. In this case, is I have a diff, I have a the track over here. Please let me know if you can hear the track. I'm going to play it right now. Track 2.20. Listen to the first part of the story. A frosty. Can you hear the, the track? Yes? Please let me know in the chat. Yeah? yeah? Okay, awesome. That's amazing. All right. Excellent. Let's play it again. Track 2.20. Listen to the first part of the story. A frosty invention. Pay attention, please. By now, you probably know something about how different life was around 150 years ago. You know that there wasn't any electricity and there weren't telephones or planes. Children like you were doing by candlelight and they didn't have TV, radio or MP3 players. Can you imagine how difficult it was to communicate with people who lived far away from you? They had to write letters on paper and send them by trains or ships. And what about everyday life? Can you imagine yourself going out to play and not having a pair of comfortable jeans to wear? They were invented at the end of the 19th century, around 1880. Keeping clean was also very difficult. Did you know that 100 years ago, only one in 10 people had a bathtub in their house? And toilet paper wasn't invented until 1857. Before that, people used newspaper, leaves or whatever was available. How that? Other things we can't live at about the same time. Paper clips in 1890, crisps in 1853, the vacuum cleaner in 1899, and the zip that we use in so many of our clothes didn't exist until 1923. Now here is an invention that most people can't live without on a hot summer's day. Can you guess what it is? 
All right, so this is the first part of the story. If you pay attention here, the, the woman was mentioning important events, important facts. So we need to respond, we need to, uh, we need to answer some, uh, some questions about that. All right, good morning for everyone. Good morning, everyone. Let's see, let's continue the second part of the story, which is this, right? So let me play the track, let me find it, find it out. Is this? Track 2.21. Listen to the second part of the story. It was a cold winter's evening in San Francisco in 1905. A boy called Frank Epperson was doing some experiments on his veranda. He was trying to invent a new sweet and colourful drink. Frank was only 11 years old and he was easily bored with the stuff that was available then. After a while, he got too cold to be outside and went inside the house. He left behind the glass of the sweet mixture with a stirring stick in it. That night was the coldest night in many, many years. San Francisco very rarely gets low temperatures, and that night it was below zero. The next morning, Frank found the fruit-flavoured substance frozen to the stick. He tried it and loved it. His friends liked it too. More than 18 years later, in 1923, Epperson was married and had five children. He had some money problems, so he decided to patent his frozen ice on a stick. He called it the Epsicle Ice Lolly. The name is related to the word icicle, a large piece of ice that forms from dripping water. Epperson began producing his ice lolly in different flavours. Frank invented a machine to manufacture the frozen treat. Later, George, Frank's son, renamed the treat Popsicle in honour of his dad. Children loved them. Today, hundreds of millions of popsicles are eaten around the world. There are more than 30 flavours, including grape, lemon, banana and orange. And how about you? Which flavour do you like? Would you like to have a popsicle now? All right, guys. Oh, okay. Interesting story. How he, how they created a popsicle, right? If you pay special attention, you will find important facts. So let's continue with the comprehension, reading comprehension about this story. It says the instruction, underline the correct answer. Okay. In this case, I have I have hidden, uh, hidden the, the answers, so you cannot see in this case, but I'm going to read for you, okay? So, if you can activate your microphones, you can help me. Okay, Salvador says number A. Let's see. I need a voluntary, please. Who can help me this time? You can activate your microphone by yourself. Okay, Valeria Siwen, uh, Valeria Lopez, right, okay. Activate your microphone and give me the number, the number one, please. Hello. Hello. I can hear it. Yes. Okay. Number one says, he's in line three, three refers to mm -hmm. letter, Franks. Okay. We have letter A, Franks, letter B, San Francisco, and letter C, Waters. Right. Valeria Lopez says is letter A. So let's check it out, okay? Thank you, Oscar. All right. Aha, Camila, welcome. What's going on? I can see you, okay, thank you. You are over here. Let's check it out. Okay, number one, I was telling you. Number one, wait, let me give me a moment. Okay, number one, yes, is Frank's. Thank you, Valeria. Number two, who can help me this time? 
I need another another volunteer. Let's see. Deborah, can you can you help me this time, please? Can you activate your microphone? Hello? Deborah? Can you? Okay, some of you are writing me in the chat. All right. Let's see. I'm requesting you to activate your microphones. Another volunteer who can help me design. Number two. Number two says it in line seven refers to. Let's see. The sweet mixture. The sweet mixture. The sweet mixture. Yes, exactly. Well done. Okay, let's check it out. Yes, as you can see here, here are the answers. Thank you so much. Okay, number three, eat in line 10 refers to another volunteer who can help me this time. Frank. Frank, it says letter A, the substance, the stick, number letter B or C, Frank. Uh, again, are you sure? The substance. Exactly, the substance. So let's check it out. Yes, it's letter A. In this case, it was letter A, the substance. Thank you so much. Number four, it line 14 refers to money, a, a, a patent or a frozen ice on a stick. Interesting. Frozen ice on a stick. Frozen ice on a stick. Okay, Frozen. let's prove. Let's let's look at it. Yeah, it's, it was frozen ice on a stick. Exactly. Thank you, Valeria. Okay. Let me check it out. Um, let's see. Ariana, please, can you help me number five with number five? Can you activate your microphone, Ariana? Yes. Thank you so much. Please help me. Number five. What what's the answer? He's in line 18 refers to Franks, George, or Treats. Mm. Any answer? Just tell me. George. George. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Yes, Oscar, tell me. Right. Ah, okay. Let's check it out. No problem. No problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's check it out. Yes, it was Franks. In that case, it refers in line 18, refers to Franks. And the last one. Them in line 19 refers to popsicles, flavors, or kids or children. Popsicles. Popsicles. Popsicles, yes. It's what they made. Remember. Exactly. Popsicles. It was the name of that invasion. Invasion. Exactly. Thank you, Florence, in the chat. All right. So do you do you have the answers? Did you copy them? To continue? No. Hurry up, please. Hurry up. I'm going to give you 15 seconds. Okay. Remember, so this is reading comprehension. We need to check it out and we need to be sure about the answers. Thank you, Florence. Okay, Camila, hurry up. Just underline them. All right. So let's continue with page. Uh, let's see. Yes, page 82. We just finished page 81. So let's continue with that one, with the other one. All right. So here I need... Oh, actually, yes, actually, I have a, a track, one more track in this case. 
let me check it out what's the, the correct okay please listen to the the second uh the third track in this case i think is this yes track 2.22 listen and stick norway offers a wide variety whale safari or tour the incredible fjords. You can also ride a special train to see waterfalls near Oslo. Sweden is a great place to go dog sledding. It's also home to the famous ice hotel in the far north of the country. They build it every winter. Even the beds are made of ice. All right. The track was mentioning some important things. So who can help me to complete? I know you don't have the sticks, right? You don't have the stickers. But in this case, remember, we are going to omit. But I need you to write the names, the correct name here and over here. Let's see. I need a volunteer who can read this. Let's see. Uh, I'm, I need the help of Dimitri. Dimitri, can you ah, can you give me a hand? Fail. Dimitri is a master, you know, in this case. Let's see, Dimitri, English. can you give me a hand? Can you hear me? Are you there? Solo que le da mucha pena. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Santi, Santi. Dimitri, you are okay. Can you activate your microphone, Dimitri? It's rare that he doesn't want to participate. He always is participating. Okay, another volunteer. Who can give me a hand? Ah, Florence. Okay. Hello. Hello. It just wouldn't. It wasn't letting me tap it, like, like when I was trying to tap it, it wouldn't even like load in. For real, okay, let's try. I can hear you, I can hear you now. Thank you. Yeah. Please, Dimitri, read the square, this square. Norway and Sweden formed the Scandinavian Peninsula in mm. Northern Europe. They are neighbors of the capital of Norway is Oslo and Stockholm is the capital of Sweden. Norway has a very long coastline with many fjords. Fjords, Jordan. exactly. Okay, thank you. Hey, good help, good job. All right, after reading that score or that information, we need to complete the names over here. Remember, the track, uh, the track mentioned some countries and some states. So this one is Oslo, right? In Stockholm. So over here, what's the correct answer? Ah, that is a spam. What's the correct answer here? Who can give me the, the answer? Remember, he was talking about Norway or Sweden. Here, over here, because they were neighbors or they are neighbors, it says. I know, Camila, I know, I know. We don't have the stickers, but we have to, at least we need to write the names. Simple as that. Remember, the stickers are in, at school. Okay. Who knows the answer of this? Who can, who can help me? Diego, are you there? Danny, what do you think is the correct, is the correct name? Or is the answer? What is the answer? Somebody knows? All right. <laughs> Try. All right, so. Scandinavian? Are you sure, Oscar? You are close, but not at all. Uh huh. Maybe Sweden or Norway? Mm, yes, it's like that. You are close, you are closer. Let's see. Uh, Norway. Aha, uh -huh, it's Norway. Yeah, it's Norway. In that it's case, like... please write a name in that one, in that square, in that space. 
Norway. Exactly, Camila. Thank you. Oh, okay, sorry. Oscar. The second one is beside or is next to Stockholm. According to this, to the track and to the information. Oslo? Or Sweden? Sweden, yes. Is that one? Sweden. Correct. They were neighbors or they are neighbors in this case. Remember, he was talking about Norway and Sweden. So just, just think about it. Did everyone copy this? All right, I will trust you. So we need to finish with this. We don't have much time here, remember, because, it, because of the application or the platform. Let's continue. All right, in this case, it's similar. We need to discover or we need to unscramble. We need to put in order the correct word. Red C, I need another volunteer. Who can read this square, please? Another one. Hi. Okay, Florence, I go ahead. To read. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Valeria, yes. Are you where are you? Albert Albert Berhan Nobel was born October 21, 1833. Yes. In Stockholm, Sweden. He became famous famous. Famous in Famous. 1867 when he invented dynamite. He wanted to make meaning railroad buildings and other constructions safer, more efficient, and cheaper. When he died, Nobel left all his money to create a fund for animal price. They got to people who achieved something special during the previous year to benefit humanity. The six prize categories are, are chemistry, physics, medicine, literature, economics, and peace. Thank you, okay. Those are subjects, Chem chemistry, chemistry, and psychs. In that case, psychs, physical, right, in, in Spanish. Chemistry, chemica, medicine, you know, literature, e and economics, and peace. Let's see, interesting, right? So. In this case, we need to put in order the names. Who can help me? Oscar, can you can you write the correct name or word in this case? What is the subject that she refers? Mm -hmm. We need to unscramble, right? Yes. Let's see. Into the story was mentioned over here. Over here is the is the answer. Physics. Sykes. Uh, Aha, Sykes. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yes, is that one? Hey, congratulations! Who can help me with this one? With the with this side? With Nelson me? Mandela. Me. Okay, tell me the answer, please. Thank you. The answer is peace. Peace. Ah, yes. Let's check, let's check it out. Yeah, exactly, it was peace, thank you. Number three, I mean, yes, number three, Winston Churchill, in this case, it was a man. What is the correct order of this word? Literature. Literature. Literature, literature. okay. Yeah, literature. Literature, okay. Literature. Exactly, it was talking about some, some books and readings, you know. And uh, number four, Mario Renato Capecci, right? He's like an Italian person from Italy. Medicine. 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 It was Medicine. easy, right? Thank you. Good, good job, guys. Good job. And the last one? Economics. Mohammed. Economics. Okay, Mohamed Janus or Junus. Yunus. Mohamed Janus. Economics, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Hey, congratulations. Okay, you are amazing. So guys, we need to complete one more page. This one is interesting. It's about, let's see if we can complete the crossword. Okay, let's continue. Wow, we need to, con we need to complete the crossword, the puzzle. 
right? Let's check it out. According to this story, okay, I need another volunteer. Who can read this, please? Who can read this story? Another volunteer. Don't be afraid. Remember, your participation is Yo. important. Okay, Yo, go Mister. ahead. Vaya. Yo. Okay, no, Santi, no. continue, please. Until warriors up to here, warriors. Start, mm. please. They sailed in their famous longboats and traveled to many places. They went to read. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Start uh, here. Many years, many years up to here. Uh, ah, many Thank years you. ago, people called Vikings lived on the Scandinavian. Scandinavian peninsula peninsula they were excellent sailors and very fierce warriors warrior okay thank you let's see uh i need a girl please another me, volunteer me. thank you okay me. go ahead go ahead hmm. and they sailed in the in their famous long boats and traveled to many places they went to the British, British Iceland, uh -huh. Iceland in, and Greenland. Continue. Oh, and even Canada and Russia, they met settlements in new places as they travel because of this more than 1,000 English wars have become origins. They stopped their exploration, exploration at the beginning of the Little Ice Age in 1215. In 1215. AD. AD. AD, exactly. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, good job. Okay, the war, you know, in this case, they are talking about Vikings or Vikings. Some people say in Spanish, right? Vikingos. So you can pronounce in both ways, both of them. But in this case, according to these illustrations, we need to discover the correct word. So probably it could be sailors, the number one, I don't know, or number two, I don't know, Greenland, settlements, warriors. So we need to discover, for example, Greenland, where is Greenland? Which number is Greenland? Who can help me? Number one, we need to count the spaces. Um, it starts with an N. Repeat it. Um, I know it starts with an N because they did the number two, which gave me long boats. Long so boats. So number one has to maybe start with an N. All right, let's see. In, in that case, is the is other is another one. Is one word that is large, larger. Uh, let's see. It could be Greenland, settlements, or exploration. Who has? Not Greenland. Settlements. No. It's another one. You are close. Están cerca, but not, it's not that one. Exploration. Uh -huh. Aha. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see if you are right. Exactly. You cannot see that the complete word, but it's exploration. Yes, you are right. Thank you. Okay, number two. Who has number two? Mm, that's, uh, Greenland. Words. Greenland. Greenland? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's see if you are if you are right. Okay, Salvador says number five, sailors. Okay, thank you, Pamela. Let's see. Number two. Yes, number two is Greenland. Thank you, good job, excellent. Number three. Ice age. It's a short answer. Ice age. Ice age, yes. It's about ice age. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's that one. Number four. 
This is larger. Settlements. settlements. Let's um, see. Yes, you you were right. You were right. Settlements. Yes. And number five. Oh, five was. It's a short. It okay. could be longboats, long warriors, or sailors. Longboat. Sure? Boat. Ah. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It's long boats. It has to be. <laughs> okay, let's let's check it out. Sailor. Well, sailor, sailors, remember. And the other one, number six. It is between warriors or long boats. Long boats. Warriors. Oh, wait, warriors. Seven long boats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The other one is nine spaces. It's, it's warriors. It's warriors, yes. You are right. And the last one is? Long boats. Long boats, yes. Of course. Okay, here we have the answers. You can copy, please. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I finished. You finish? Okay. Number one, exploration. Number two, Greenland. Number three, Ice it's Age. Amazing. Number four, settlements. Number five, sailors. And number six, finish. warriors. And the last one, long boats. Okay. This is a story about special people here. So we need to decode, decode uh, their alphabet. In this case, we need to discover what, what's the, the, the original message. Who can help me? For example, letter I, F, letter F is this symbol. Consonant V is this symbol and, and so on, right? Yo, lo hice saber qué cosa me salió. Yo hice la <laughs> Okay, tell me in English, please. Tell me in English. Number one, what is no, what is the first is world. World. Word. All right, let's check it out. Thank you, Pami. You finish. Yeah, number one is word. Thank you, guys. Hey, excellent. Number number two, this this one, this symbol. Same. I mean now. Let's see. Where is this symbol? It's not this one. That word is the... Or fame. 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 Ah, it's yeah. this symbol. It's F. Yes, you are right. Let's see. Yeah, it's that one. Fame. In Spanish. Fama. Number three. Never. Yes, never. Never. Never? Never. 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 Let's check it out. Yeah, cor congratulations. It's right. And the last one is this. Dice. 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 According to Dice. this alphabet. Dice. I probably did it before the. You finished, yes. Before. Let's check it out. It's fine, yes. Dice. Those are those were the words that we need to discover. We needed to discover them. Exactly. The first one is word. Number two, fame. Three, never. And the other one is dice. Okay, guys. Thank you for helping me. Do you have any question about this class? No, every clear. Everything is clear. Okay. Danny, thank you so much. Do you have any question about next Thursday? About Children's Day? No, sí, se puede no llegar. Any question? Ah, uh, please wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Ya lo tengo puesto. Let's see. Santi, thank you for joining this class, everyone. Okay, yeah. let's see Bye, the assistance. Mister. Wait, wait, don't disconnect. Wait, don't, don't disconnect. Listen to me. I'm going to be uh these days. Every teacher, every miss, and every mister, we are taking account into account the assistance. Please don't disconnect. Don't disconnect, all right? Because I need to take the assistance. All right. 
So we are 22 people, right? So that's good. That's amazing. Mister, if I don't have a camera, how do I activate it? Well, actually, you can activate it by the, by the phone, yes. Exactly. So, if I don't have a charger. You need, to, you need to recharge it, yes. Thank you, guys. Okay. The time is almost finishing, and I need to, I need to say to you goodbye. See you in language class, please. Don't miss it. Thank you goodbye. so much. Goodbye, yes. take care. Thank you so much for joining this class. All right. Adios, mister. Bye, God mister. God bless you. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye, mister. Bye, bye. Bye, yes. mister. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you.